Welcome back to my workshop. Now today I'm going to do a quick video on replacing the lens on my Sculptfun S9 laser. Now I have a new lens and some uh, additional bits and pieces which I got from the uh, Sculptfun support team. Excellent support, you must check them out. Uh, so I'm going to change the lens. Uh, what I'll do is I'll show you why you might need to change it or why you might need to clean it. Okay, so over to the design studio. Right, we're over here in the design studio. Uh, let me just briefly explain why you need to clean your lens or change your lens. Now you should always maintain your laser to get the most out of it. Uh, the Skullfun S9 is a 5.5 watt laser. Uh, so in comparative terms, uh, nowadays that's a fairly low power. So what you need to do is get the most out of what you've got. Okay, now why do you need to clean it? Well, first of all, there's a buildup of dirt. Now, let me show you quickly what happens. Right, so when you're using your laser, okay, so here we have the laser, okay, not to scale. Uh, and on the Skullfun S9, there's a shield around here, okay, and this is where you set the focal length. Uh, now, obviously, the laser fires onto your workpiece, okay? That's simple enough, and it either cuts through or it graves. Now, when you're engraving in particular, uh, you do end up with a lot of, basically, smoke and debris, okay? And this builds up around the laser, okay? If you don't have air assist to blow that away, you end up with all these particles, so they're like soot particles, and they eventually build up inside the shield. Now your lens is here, okay, and your diode laser is here, okay? So what happens is basically you end up with soot sticking to your lens. Now what that can do is it could end up, as the laser fires to the lens, you end up with some refraction of the light, okay? This means the power you need to get to your workpiece doesn't actually make it. Right, so that's why you need to clean it. In my case, I'm going to replace it. So let's have a look in the box and see what I've got. Okay, as I previously mentioned, this was sent to me from the uh, Sculpt Fund support team, uh, but these are easily purchasable. Uh, you can get them online anywhere. Okay, and what we get in this package is we get two of these covers, okay? These are the uh, light protection covers that go around the bottom of the laser. I'll show you those in a moment. And also the lenses, okay? In this case, we get three new lenses, which I can't even get out of the box. Oh, come on. Okay, three new lenses, all individually packaged. Okay, and this is what we're going to change. Now, I won't get them out of the box yet because uh, I need to wash my hands, okay? But this is all you get, okay? It's a nice lens. So, how do we change it? Okay, so in this kit, you get a small business card and it's got a QR code on it. Uh, so if you do want some support, not that you're gonna need it because you'll be watching this video, uh, you literally get whatever device you're using uh, that can scan a QR code. You literally scan the QR code. Okay, and that brings you straight to the Sculpt Fun link. Uh, it shows you the YouTube link, the uh, email address, and also their Facebook account. Okay, uh, with the YouTube link, all you do is press and hold on it, and then you can go directly to YouTube. Okay, and it brings up their official video. Okay, but as I say, you won't need that because what you're gonna do is you're gonna learn from this video. Right, what's next? Right, so now we know why we're going to change it. Uh, all we've got to do now is actually change it. Uh, the first thing we've got to do is remove the uh, laser from the skull fun, which is quite simply disconnecting it undoing the two knurled nuts at the back. 
Finesse removed. That was easy. Right, now we've got the laser off, you can actually see how much dirt is on it. Uh, looking at this cover here, uh, this is a new one. Uh, look at the difference, okay? And that is purely just down to smoke and debris. So if you look, there's like a, an ick, it's like a sticky tarry type thing on the top. Okay, so that's one of the reasons why we need to change it. Right, okay, so what we need to do is we have a grub screw here, uh, and there's one on the back and there's one here okay now when you've got your sculpt fun you should have got a little allen key okay so with your allen key all you do is you literally undo these screws now be very careful you don't lose them because they're quite small uh, i will actually remove them completely one and two okay i should now be able to remove this cover okay Again, you can see the difference. Okay, it's like a build-up of tar. Okay, so now if we look in here, there's a protective cover, and we need to undo this Allen key. Okay, and we should be able to remove this. Okay, and there you can actually see the lens. Okay, and this is why you have to change it. It's covered in ick. So we're gonna clean that off as well. Right, how do we get that out? Right, obviously you don't need to, but I've just put on a pair of uh, these gloves because obviously my hands are a little bit dirty. Uh, you don't need to, just make sure you've got clean hands. Now, if you look on the lens itself, okay, on the side there, that side and that side, there's two little divots, okay? And this lens is actually threaded, okay? Now, what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna be poking around in there with something too nasty. Uh, so what I've got is, uh, this is just a, a set of screwdrivers that I bought from uh, Aldi's, which is a, a store in the UK. And in it, I got these which are a pair of tweezers, okay? And they got pointy ends, okay? You can probably pick these up for a couple of quid on Amazon or whatever, okay? But that's what you want, the ones with the pointy ends, okay? Now I haven't removed this yet, so we're gonna give this a go, okay? And all you do is you locate each of those pins in the lens, hopefully you can see, and it should, it should rotate. All right, be careful not to scratch the lens. Come on. Oh, it's not having it. That's very tight. Okay. Stick your tweezers in both of those and then rotate it. Uh, I've already scratched it once because it was quite tight. Okay, but once you get it going. At last. Now, that was a bit more tricky than I thought. Uh, it's got a, quite a fine thread on it here. Okay, so you do have to turn it quite a few times. All right, let's put this down somewhere clean. Okay, so this is the old lens here. Uh, now, as you can see, this is quite exposed now. Uh, what you don't want to do is get any dirt in there. So be as quick as you can. Uh, I've got a new lens here. Now, what you want to do is make sure you haven't got dirty hands. Okay, take it out of the case. Right, it's got obviously the two sides, you've got a flat side and you've got a side that has a bit of a recess. Okay, 
what you want is the flat side out okay and all I'm going to do is hopefully hold it with my tweezers and reinsert it now whatever you do don't over tighten this because that would be really bad okay get it in place and just gently screw it into position okay don't over tighten it you don't need to okay quite a few turns okay and let's it back in place now if you look at the old lens now okay so this is our old lens uh, now obviously if you were just cleaning it you wouldn't even have to remove it uh, all you'd use is a cotton bud like this and some denatured alcohol on here uh, and you just give it a very gentle wipe uh, alternatively you could use a glasses cleaner okay something like this and literally just give it a bit of a wipe okay the last thing you want to do is scratch the lens okay, the lens, just a little wipe. okay and make sure there's nothing on it now you can see on here um, I actually scratched that quite a bit because it was quite tight so again yeah i was scratching this that's not too bad just don't scratch the lens all right i'll keep that as a spare but i don't think i'll ever need it this is now back in uh, what i'm going to do is quickly clean this and then reinsert that Okay, as you can see, uh, there's a lot more in there than you would expect. Right, let's refit this. Okay, before we refit that, if you look inside here, you also get a build up. Now be very careful, if you start to clean this, make sure you don't get any on the lens. Okay, but it's worth giving it a clean, but you're gonna have to check your lens before you reassemble it. Okay, again, look. Okay, I've managed to get all the uh, tarry stuff out of there. Even more come off of there. This really needed doing. Right, refitting this protective cover should just be a case of dropping it in. Okay, hold it gently with your thumb. Okay, and then reinsert the top grub screw. Okay. Okay, no need to over tighten this. You just need it so it presses against this stops it falling out okay so that's back in get our new cover slot it in the hole then reinsert our two grub screws okay probably an idea to keep the lens the laser up this way and that will stop it falling out again Okay, don't over tighten these because you'll crack the uh, the protective cover. Okay, that's all secure. Right, look at that, it's like a new one. All right, let's refit this back to the laser. Right, so that's about it. Uh, that's how to change the lens and the uh, the cover on the Sculpfun S9. Uh, hopefully it was of some use to you. Uh, don't forget, if you keep your old lens, mark it up or mark the box up as a used one, otherwise you could end up refitting that, which would be no good. Uh, so I'd like to thank Sculpfun support team for sending me out some new lenses. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, hopefully that a little bit of a service will give you an idea of the sort of thing you might have to do to your lens or your laser to uh, keep getting the most out of it. Okay, thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye.
Okay, so as I mentioned, uh, this was sent to me from the Skull Fun. Oh. Should I do that again? Because I was. <laughs> trying to get this so you can see. You can't see. Nah, I don't like that one. Didn't finish it properly. Mm.